channel. So I've come away for two nights with my mum on a kind of girls road trip. We've come down to Rutland which is where my mum grew up so we're gonna spend two nights in Stamford and then have a look around some of the cute towns and villages in the surrounding areas. Partly so that mum can show me where she used to live and then partly so I can take some photographs of some like really beautiful English houses with you know thatched roofs and I don't know just see a little bit more of England because I haven't seen a whole lot of England really. So we've just driven through Tinmel yeah. which was super cute. I've taken a little photo so I'll pack that here just on my phone. Um, but I brought my camera, obviously brought my GoPro to vlog the whole thing. Um, I don't know how much you're going to be vlogging it because obviously I want to spend quality time with my mum not vlogging the whole time but I'll show you little bits of what we're up to and where we go. Um, but we set off this morning at 8.30 it's now about 11.30 so it's about three hours drive from where we live, well from where my parents live and this afternoon we've booked in at three to go to Burley House yeah. Yeah. Um, to look around the gardens and it was £20 per person but it gives you an annual pass which I think is quite good really if you live in the local area, um, £20 a year is not bad and this is Ketton which is where my mum used to live so I'm going to show you around, well I don't think we're going to get out of the car or just drive around. And uh, so I locked her in, and so she told me I couldn't go back for a couple of weeks. Uh oh. Yeah. So it's still there. Used to, used to um, dance around the mushroom with an owl, a wooden owl on top, and trying to, we tried to um, get the owl to fall off. <laughs> Is it weird seeing that again? Yeah, I didn't think it'd be there. I didn't, I didn't realise it'd be still stuck there. So I walked from here to my house the back for, for um, brownies when I was I don't know, eight or nine. And that's the mine over there, or is that something else? Pardon? And what's that over there? That's the cement works. The cement, cement works. Yeah. They're digging. Got big quarries and they're digging out. The, Um, 
Mr. Jewel is always out there. It's a good door. This is so, that's a cute cottage. Oh my God, this is so cute. How cute is that? This goes down to the river, or stream. Because oh, that means. Oh, wow! Yeah. Um, and we'll drive around to the river the other side, but yeah. I don't remember this. How'd you park and get a picture of this? Yeah. Be on my bike. All that was pit lane down here. I used to have my bike everywhere. Are you with me? It's lovely, aren't they? Yeah. The farmers. I think that's probably where the swimming pool was actually. Look at this roof as well, it's so slanted. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That one's a cute one, Chapel House. So we're just driving to Mum's old house and I think at some point we're going to park up and walk around. Oh my god, look how cute that is! This is the old school on the left hand side that I went to. It's now um, a library, I think. Yeah. Oh, there is a school That's there. That's the new school. When I was in the first year of the new school, we had a swimming pool. Um, Very posh. I remember taking all the tables and things across oh to the new god, school. Oh my god, look at that! How cute is that? Yeah, we need to park up and walk round. Yeah. So this is the um, this is the old school where my brother and I went to, and uh, the head teacher, the Lowsons, lived in the in the house next door. This is so cute. And uh, this is where the tuck shop was. Oh. Um, here, the old shop. You can see it's an old shop, can't you? Yeah, there's big windows. Um, we used to go and buy our supplies for the swimming. Trip on a Friday morning when we used to go swimming. Oh my god, this building! This is uh, Red Miles Lane. There was a guy called Burroughs, one of my friends called Burroughs, lived down here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get back up here. You know. Look at that with the lavender and roses. Should we go for it and see if we can? Yeah. This is one of my favourite walks. Changed a lot since yeah, you... my dad had my dad had uh, rose trees up the up the uh, side of the driveway, and he had daffodil plastic daffodil plants on it. <laughs> yeah, it looks Is it bigger. Is this the one you painted the outside of? No. When your grandma? Okay. No, this looks bigger than I imagined it to be. Remember it to be wider, I suppose. Yeah, and smaller as well. I thought I remember a raised garden, but that hasn't got any raised garden, has it? One minute, let's get a photo. Yeah, so this is an estate which is here yeah, from 1969, 70 it was built. It's obviously more modern than the old like cottages yeah. in town. Yeah. Yeah, this was a good this was a good hill for deposing down as well. But we had some really good snow here. Not like in Lancashire really, where there's no snow. Yeah. Because of the coast. No, it's quite a few days we couldn't go to school because it was too much snow. <laughs> so that's back down to where we just were. Where we just come, yeah. And so around here again was one of my areas that I liked uh, cycling. Friends all over the place. 
this really, so I used to go and cycle. And this is the councillor, that was another good one for um, boggling down Fence Road. And it's the council estate, which I've had lots of friends on. And then up here is just this Empion Road. Oh, look at, oh, it's Capendale close. There was a man called Mr. Capendale who was the um, he was the milkman. Weird the house, isn't it? On here and just behind it's for public footpath. Yes, just behind it. Oh, it used to be a nice little um, go to go across down there with my bike and down <laughs> and over there. Um, Rosemary Neal lived in there. That was the hall where we used to play tennis. We used to go and nick their um, flowers. So down here is the really nice oldie worldy part, really. There's a pub here which I think um, one of the boys from school runs now. This is the church as well. of that Be a um, sweet shop on the up the right hand side. There used to be a sweet shop, and then up there there used to be um, a path over the railway line, and there used to be old man's beard growing. But isn't that a lovely little cottage? Yeah, it's just a beautiful little village. So we've just finished looking around Ketton which is where my mum grew up, which is lovely to see all the old buildings and like, the railway tracks where she used to come play and things and hearing all the stories, that was lovely. Um, I've taken some good photographs as well of some of the buildings. But we're now heading to Stamford. Um, I think we might get a bite to eat if we can find a little cafe or something. And then at 3pm we're going to Burley House, it's now half 12, so we've got two and a half hours yet. Um, but yeah, next stop is Stamford. So is it Stamford now? Yeah. Oh. And just like that we're in Stamford. Great. It's smaller than I thought it was. I was expecting somewhat of a city. original building because it used to be it's been here for years like 500 years this George Hotel it was um, on the way from London up to the north it was a traveller's rest so it'd be here when Shakespeare was around and you know, mm. people like that and it's just part of it old part of it mm. I bet it would have been nice coming here at the beginning of quarantine when no one was driving in the cars Oh yeah, to get some empty photos.
side. You're the tour guide. I could do with the, do with the toilet, so we could go in here. Let's go see if we can. Okay, we'll go inside here. here. Not wheel. So we've come to William Cecil, which is a hotel, because the parking is the same place as our parking. And we're going to hopefully try and get some food. But go to the toilet, definitely. So we just had lunch at William Cecil. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I ordered a chicken, roast chicken with um, Yorkshire pudding, and the Yorkshire pudding was literally the size of my face. Yes, because you've got a small face, as you know. Got a small face. <laughs> it was huge. And Mum had a nut roast. Yeah, nut roast was lovely. Yeah, it was very good with cauliflower cheese and carrot and broccoli. Yeah, recommend it. And I had a apple tizer, which I haven't had for years. That was yummy. And then as we were thinking about getting ready to leave. I was showing mum what it looks like to put the mask on with the hook like around the top of your head like this and then as we were doing that mum was like dying with laughter and then so I got that I videoed that on my phone so I'll put that in and then I also talked about what like what she was seeing and why that was so funny so I'll put that in now <laughs> told off because we're not supposed to have masks when we're eating <laughs> yeah and then Which we didn't have obviously yeah because i was like playing about with it and this guy came in and was like you don't have to have your mask on while you're dining and i was like does he think we've just sat here and eating a whole meal with our mask on <laughs> strained it through it yeah i don't know i know mm. we had a good giggle um so we're gonna drive now to burley house potentially have a little nap for half an hour in the car because we're both exhausted yeah, and then well. we'll go inside so Let's go to Burley House. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Let's go. And now it's shitting down. Yes. So this is the ringing room, apparently, where people would ring. So it's not easy for small children anymore. And um, they live down. So I was hoping to get the other side of that bridge to get a photograph through. <laughs> Just see what I have to put up with. 